Hi, this is Matt from the... <laughs> I'm just kidding. This is Matt from the Dirty Lab Coat, Algae Research and Supplies video series. Today what we're going to do is something kind of fun, and this is one for more of the older kids. Um, we're going to be using a Seshi stick to compare biomass, uh, uh, estimates of biomass, to a, op to a spectrophotometer. Um, also, you can ex uh, exchange either of these with a hemocytometer to do cell counts. So basically what you're doing is you're creating the relationship between one analytical instrument to another analytical instrument. So the Seshi stick operates, we've gone over this several times in several different videos. It, is a, it has a target, you can spill water wherever you want to, this is a wet lab. Uh, a target with a ruler on it, so as this, uh, as you decrease the, or as you increase the depth of the target, it's gonna disappear and that's gonna give you a good estimate of optical density using the Beer-Lambert law. Um, from this, you can uh, do the same kind of work with a spectrophotometer, which again uses optical density. So the way you want to start this out is getting a nice dense culture of algae, like this one per se. Get your optical density using the same biomass, the same sample here, and then also you can put it right into your uh, a cuvette to put into your spectrophotometer. Then just go ahead and uh, eh, dump out. <laughs> Dump out some of your culture and then do it again. Okay. I like to do things log scale, get your next optical density, and then do the same thing. <laughs> Don't let your students do that or you'll have a big mess everywhere. Um, okay. So once you do that a handful of times, you'll get some good numbers and you'll be able to actually plot a path here uh, or plot uh, uh, your, your results and use math. It's leaking on the floor. I'm going to go get a mop. Thanks. Next time on the Dirty Lab Coat, we'll do something else and make a mess. Bye. <laughs>